we have earlier seen about Young's double slit experiment. Okay. In Young's double slit experiment, there are two slits there, and like a, a light of a, a particular wavelength pass through it, and it gets interference fringes are formed here. So let's see what will happen if in the Young's experiment we have a white source of light. Okay, white source means we say polychromatic light. That means it has chroma means color. It's a polychromatic means it has many colors there. Okay, so let's see this now. So in Young's double slit experiment, we know that there are there's a slit like this frame, this slit one, S1, and then we have a slit S2 here. Okay. There are two slits here, S1 and S2, we know. Then we have a source here. S is a source here. Okay. Instead of having a single color source, that is monochromatic source, we have a white light source here. Okay. So we are sending here white light. Okay. So when you send white light, we know that white light contains many colors there. It's a group of Seven colors. Okay. So when you send white light, and then these are two slits here, S1, S2. Then we have a screen here. This is a screen. Okay. On the screen, we get the interference patterns. Pattern. Okay. If you see that in the center portion, we get a central fringe. Okay. This is a central fringe here. Central fringe. If you see, it's always it will be bright in color. Okay. It's always it is bright. Right in this case, it will be appear to our eyes as white color. Okay. Then surrounding the central fringe, you will get different fringes there. Okay. Different colored fringes of different thicknesses. Okay. Because white light contains uh, seven colors there, and then those colors will interfere, and then we'll get bad different bands here. Okay. Bands we say as fringes. Okay. And the thickness of the fringes will differ, will change. Okay. So now let's see, and uh, these are colored fringes here. Okay. These are the Colored fringes. Our aim is now why is the central fringe white in color? Okay, that's our aim here. Why is it so? If you see that this is slit 1, S1, yes one, and this is slit S2. Yes so light will come here and fall this uh, central fringe here. Okay, on this point here, and the light will also come and fall here. Okay, if you see that the time taken for them will be same and the path difference also the same. So all the colors will fall at the same time on the central uh, fringe here. Okay. So central fringe what happens is all the colors join together. So we get a bright color. Okay. That's the thing here. So at this point what happens we get a constructive difference. That means a crest will meet another crest and then we can't construct difference. So central fringe is white or bright in color because there is constructive difference here. Constructive interference. Okay. So this is the reason why the central fringe is bright in color or white in color here. So this is about the interference in white light for polychromatic light or we can say polychromatic light in the Young's double slit experiment. Okay, so if you use white light, what we get here, we get different color bands, but the central one is always it will be white in color. Okay, so this is about the interference in white light. Thank you for watching.